And the World Health Organization says, no, 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 no. We want to stand with the government who oppresses its people and then lies to the working class people across the pond, ensuring a pandemic when 95% of it could have been mitigated had we just done our job. Let's go to right now, everyone's been talking, we talked about it initially uh, over a week ago, the World Health Organization, yeah. yep. specifically in addressing China, and now I know that a lot of other people have sort of been picking up these talking points, which is a great thing, Finally, but uh, let's get specifically into uh, how they are synonymous and uh, really everything wrong with the World Health Organization. I think this is the first time we've done it with an organization. Yeah, I think I so, yeah. so, yeah. It's like been individuals in, up until now. They're number one. Entity. So um, yeah. if people have been following, you know, they've been actually trending this week as people, they've been celebrating the anniversary of the World Health Organization's, I guess, right. I, founding, I guess it's a cel celebratory thing. This is what they do. It was on 7th April 1948 that WHO came into being. Because I want my ambassador to be Neil deGrasse Tyson had sex with a Somali pirate from Captain <laughs> Phillips. <laughs> Why, Neil? No. <laughs> I'm joking. You have standards, Neil. I am, of course it's a joke. Gay men can't make babies. Oh, that's oh, right. It's not how it works. Uh, of course, everyone <laughs> out there, you know, they're, they're, everyone they love and they trust the World Health Organization. Um, and that's what we have. CBS, ABC, NBC, they've decided to come together to air right. the World Health Organization. Can I just say who from now on? Does say that who. Work? Go ahead. Say who. The who's special. The I love how everyone here is like, yes, please do. <laughs> and don't bring the foot back up. Please. Yeah, I don't, don't want to see that again. I please will, keep that below. I will bring it. I will be a spite foot. So everyone here. Ooh. Stay no. in line. Uh, it's One World Together at Home. It's an event with Colbert, Kimmel, and uh, Jimmy Fallon hosting. Ugh. And this is another example of, suck. you know, they say like, well, this is just about humanity. It's not political. And I just don't, I just don't think they understand that they have a blind spot, that the World Health Organization, who, I'm, I'm sorry, I just don't yes. like abbreviations. Yeah. It, is, it is a political wing. Yeah. They do have a political agenda. And unfortunately, it's aligned with people who hate everything the United States is about. And you know what? I really just want the left to understand this. Let's not even look at the fact that they hate America. I get it. You hate America, so you want to link arms. How right. about the fact that you cannot boycott the gap and support an organization that excludes Taiwan and supports the most uh, the most severe abuses of human rights of any modernized country? Right. And Definitely. I think a lot of people may say, well, why has Trump been doing this? And let's explain why. He, he's obviously been bashing who uh, for how it handled the outbreak with coronavirus, and he threatened to cut their funding. Of course, the media is beside themselves. The WHO sent out multiple coronavirus alerts earlier this year, in fact, c declaring it a global health emergency back in January. The president largely dismissed those warnings, saying mm. also in January it's going to be just fine. That's a direct quote. Now, as Ben Tracy reports, Jeez. Mr. Trump claims the WHO failed. They call it wrong. They really, they missed the call. The president is shifting blame for the spread of the coronavirus to the World Health Organization. Mm. I don't know if it's uh, shifting if just so keeping much. it exactly where it always should have been. <laughs> yeah. It's like, did someone shift the dining room tip? No, it's no. where it's always been. You shifty son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so the anchor, you see that, and you've worked in media for so long, you see what's happening there, right? Oh, yeah. That the anchor is giving this impression that, that uh, who was declaring coronavirus a global health emergency while right. Donald Trump was ignoring it. Right. Mm -hmm. Trump declared coronavirus a public health emergency the very same day that who made the declaration. Really? And in addition to that, he restricted travel from China. So how did the who, how did the, I keep saying the who, the how did who respond? There. WHO. <laughs> no travel bans. They just, they were against travel bans and they would uh, argue that it's not effective. Uh, well, you know what, listen, if your country is one big giant Petri dish and they're lying about it, I think that uh, putting a stop on leisurely vacations is a good start. Probably yeah. a good start. They were, they were praising, by the way, China's handling of this, uh, of this pandemic, okay, throughout the, the entirety Bending of it. Bending over backwards. Let's be clear about this. This is important, the timeline matters. Yeah. Uh, obviously not all Chinese people, we've been very clear about that. Of I hate the Chinese government and by proxy, who, because I empathize with the Chinese people who yep. are abused and kept under the thumb mm -hmm. of the Chai Kums. Can I say that? You Chai Kums, Chinese communist? So. Can I say yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. Or is Chinese that considered communist. racist? I guess. I mean, everything is considered racist, but I, I don't think that that's racist. Chai Kum. No. Okay, that's fine. Who cares? So, <laughs> wait, the W who, World Health Organization cares? Who cares? Who cares? I, have no, I, I have no idea. We're so anymore. screwed with this one. <laughs> I know I don't. Do join Mug Club Quarantine $30 off because <laughs> it gets we better. very well may not be here. <laughs> so, they were praising China, and it matters as far as the timeline because all along the way, China, they were destroying evidence of the virus when it was first discovered. They silenced whistleblowers, arrested them. Some of them just disappeared because they were kept in uh, abhorrent conditions. Yeah. Plus, by the way, there were That's studies. Crazy, yeah. This is something very important to keep in mind. Well, everyone wants to blame Donald Trump, and I understand if you want to have the argument that it wasn't 
the ideal response, of course, I get that. But that's been nearly everywhere, particularly China, yeah. when you see unbiased studies show that if they'd have used the proper mitigation techniques, rather than focusing on keeping up appearances, love, and the who doing their dirty work, 95%, 95% of the cases. And here's what matters though too, has the World Health Organization ever mentioned any of this? Mitigate, if, if it's the World Health Organization, right. the fact that they lied about the virus, the fact that they silenced whistleblowers, many mm -hmm. of whom disappeared, some of whom are dead, mm -hmm. and the fact that they could have mitigated it by 95%, if your goal is to be the World Health Organization, seems to me that would matter if there's no political mo mo motive. If the goal is entirely to solve the pandemic, why not highlight that international abuse of power? Yeah. Instead, they, not only do they not do it, they just keep repeating Chinese uh, uh, propaganda points. Yeah. Without question, that's the issue here. By the way, hit the oh, notification uh, bell if you are not subscribed to Mug Club, and I know that many of you aren't yet. Uh, subscriptions don't mean a whole lot. Hit all notifications, and uh, do consider uh, subscribing to Crider Bits. Of course, the yeah. uh, podcast go. It's not iTunes anymore. It's not it's pod Apple Podcast. Apple Podcast. Apple podcast. Apple podcast. That's yeah. so stupid. Yeah. I think it makes more sense to have the the toilet robot. Yeah. Really? You're <laughs> yeah. on my side now. Yeah. Oh. Well. I never was against it. Oh, okay. I just think it's invasive, but I like a little invasiveness. Um, so here's another claim that was made by the no World idea. Health Organization. Uh, they repeated China's lies uh, about how coronavirus was spread, and they said that there was no evidence, no evidence mm -hmm. of human to human transmission on January 12th. Now, here's, I want to be clear and hold them to the same standard that we hold everyone, people can make mistakes. Right? People Everybody can be can. wrong. For yeah. example, the Trump administration thought that it wouldn't be as severe as it would. And that is true. Right. They yeah. declared an emergency, same time, timeline, but they didn't think it would be as severe because they were given information from the World Health, from China and the World Health Organization corroborated. So I am not mad because they said no evidence of human to human transmission on January 12th because they made a mistake. I'm mad because Taiwan directly gave mm. who evidence of human to human transmission in December. They provided them oh. with proof of doctors getting sick from the coronavirus patients. It was clear evidence of human to human transmission. So why would the World Health Organization not listen and also go out and tell everyone else the exact opposite because they don't even recognize Taiwan as its own state. So here's the thing too that really doesn't matter with Taiwan. Uh, obviously they, they deny Taiwan sovereignty. So the who yeah. they continue to block Taiwan from membership because China doesn't recognize them. Yeah. And this is important because um, of the reason for Taiwan being a separate state. Yeah. And that's because specifically it applies to the gross human abu abuses of human rights. Right. Uh, get, out of, get out of the show map. Someone was there and then the producer getting in the show map. I have these really? guys and they're like in there. I oh will murder gosh. you. Changing them? So they won't even let Taiwan <laughs> have a seat at the table as an observer. No. And the reason for that is because Taiwan has been outspoken against China. This is something we've shown before, but I think it needs to be seen as many times yeah. as possible. It's as chilling as a clip gets. You don't need need a conspiracy, watch what happens when a World Health uh, Organization official is asked specifically about Taiwan. The WHO considered Taiwan's membership. <laughs> Awkward. Hello? We, 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 I'm sorry, I can't hear. You. I couldn't hear your question. Okay, yeah. Let me let, let me let me repeat the question. No, that's so. okay. Let, let's move to another one then. Right, <laughs> because because I'm I'm actually curious on talking about Taiwan as well on Taiwan's case. Ah. <laughs> Unreal. Aaron Sorkin is surly. Uh, yeah. Why? Yeah, that's shocking. That's horrible. I just that I imagine terrible, if that yeah. just worked every. If that was the level of accountability from every international yeah. organization. Yeah. You yeah. know, like the UN. I don't know, asking Donald Trump about waterboarding. The Geneva yeah. Convention. Yeah. Like, uh, I like the question. I won't respond to it. <laughs> Favorite tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love how he had the balls to know. go. I didn't hear your question. Can you? Yeah. you know, and, and, and she goes, Ask "Oh, well, I'll repeat one. it." He goes, "No, no, no. Let's move on to another one." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't even know what that one was. It's just he's it's like, talk about up. terrifying. How about right. Taiwan? How yeah. about Taiwan? Or were you too? You forgot seven years in Tibet. It was pretty. It was forgettable. It wasn't a great yeah. film. No. But you understand yeah, the point. The here. Chinese are not your friend as yeah. you go out there and oh. about sweatshops with Nike and then say trust the World Health Organization who's complicit. No. And again, this matters because everyone has made, people have made mistakes, yeah. I will say, across the board. But there is a stark contrast between the approach of the media, China, the World Health Organization, and it's important to remember that they've all acted as one and the same right now, and President Donald Trump. First off, Taiwan, he's already hinted at, at, at recognizing Taiwan in the yeah. past. He was the first United States president to call Taiwan's president since, uh, I think, was it 79? 
Nice. Since 1979, yeah. I think. Great year. And that sent, of course, the media into hysterics. They were furious about it. <laughs> and the truth is, too, while we're talking about Taiwan, why it matters, uh, first off, it's reprehensible to not listen to a country simply because you want to assist in their oppression because right, you like yeah. China. That being said, from a, from a pragmatic point of view, Taiwan handled the coronavirus better than almost any other country, in large part, why? Because they don't trust anything China says. <laughs> They know them too well. They know them too well. It was similar to South Korea, and we'll get back to that in a second. It was one of the earliest countries to be hit. Yeah. It has one of the lowest infection rates and death rates. Despite being right next to China, they almost entirely avoided the virus. Their new cases peaked, I think, back in March, March something, March 20, 22nd, 24, something like that. Population of about 25 million people. They've only had five deaths. Wow. Also, keep in mind, incredible population density. Yeah. We're not just talking about like why spread across Wyoming here. <laughs> Now, how did they pull this off, Taiwan? And World Health Organization, I hope you're listening because you might want to take some notes. Uh, they started inspecting passengers from Wuhan all the way back in December. They yeah. banned Wuhan residents and suspended tours to China in January. Then they banned all Chinese visitors uh, February 6th. Again, you look That's at incredible. South Korea, what they did. They didn't have a full quarantine. Mm -hmm. Now, granted, they doxed their citizens, which you can't do here in the United States, and I don't think we want to do it here. No, But not. they acted early on, and they were immediately skeptical of any information being fed to them from China. So this idea that it's anti-Asian, no, 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 no. Just the government of those ass. And this is one of those yeah. rare instances where people are like, ooh, yeah. I don't know where they're from. Should I just say Asian? I don't want to say, because we always used to say Chinese. People yeah. say, in yeah. this case, Chinese, 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 <laughs> Chinese government. China. Only you, only you. Not the Koreans, okay? China. Not the Taiwanese. Chinese, bad. By the way, let's go back to South Korea. Keep in mind, South uh, Korea, they began uh, moving to create testing kits January 16th. Yeah. And wow. again, they worked with private industry two weeks before the World Health Organization actually declared COVID an emergency. So this is important to note that Donald Trump values Taiwan's approach. Yeah. So if you want to talk yeah. about the international committee and you want to talk about who's supporting people in the, why all of, why is it racist for someone, for example, to mention bat soup or to mention the Chinese communist government? Yeah. But you don't recognize that Donald Trump actually is supporting the people, the Taiwanese people who've been oppressed by China. And the World Health Organization doesn't even want to recognize them, doesn't even want to talk about yeah. recognizing them. Won't even them. let them in the room because they're afraid of offending China. Right. That's, in, that's incredible to me. I, I don't understand. We do have to get to Anthony Cumia, and of course it's uh, YouTube.com slash Stu Does America show. show. That's right. Horrible show. name. Yeah, I know. Good name for the show. <laughs> Horrible URL. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Gerald, thank you. Here's the thing. Donald Trump should cut funding to the World Health Organization. Yes. And here's something else that people aren't recognizing. You know why the working class Americans, when we're talking about the Rust Belt, don't think that you're going in to bat for them? Do you, know, you know why Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders? Because you don't even go into bat for the working class in China, let alone Taiwan. These are people who are being paid pennies a day to work in sweatshop factories. The World Health Organization turns a blind eye. The one nation that tried to get themselves separated and say, hey, we don't want to do it the way that China does it. Donald Trump says, good on you. I'm going to actually try and recognize you and support you, just like I support the steel mill wil uh, worker in Pittsburgh. And the World Health Organization says, no, 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 no. We want to stand with the government who oppresses its people and then lies to the working class people across the pond, ensuring a pandemic when 95% of it could have been mitigated had we just done our job. I don't think we need to be funding the World Health Organization at all. If you want to find someone to uh, blame, you don't need to shift the, the blame from Donald Trump to World Health Organization. You just need to keep it squarely where it always was, Chinese government and the World Health Organization. We are cleaning up their mess. No one's doing it perfectly. But how about we start with this? Let's look out for the working class. Let's look out for the underdog. In this case, it's the underdog in the United States who've been screwed by the international economic crippling and the underdog in Taiwan and also the underdog in China when they're not a part of the elite ruling class in the government or Jackie Chan shooting propaganda commercials for the government. Good God, can we return? Can we make them included in Red Dawn? I can't believe that we catered to their stupid film market and changed it to North Korea. We should have seen the giant Chinese red flag, flipped them the yep. bird, and said, Wolverines forever. Was it Wolverines? Wolverines! Wolverines forever! Don't believe China! Don't trust China! China ass Hey, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe or hit the notification bell and hit all notifications because uh, not all notifications work now if you just hit the normal notification bell. I think there's some videos playing in boxes. But, of course, do consider uh, subscribing at ladderofcutter.com slash mugclub because there's a bunch of content that could never make it onto YouTube. And I think the, the box is playing... There's a video playing in a box with...